In this video, I'm going to plan out the week on one page in my Erin Condren monthly planner. Hi, I'm Kristen, and I post functional planning videos on my channel a couple times a week. If you're like me and you need a gentle reminder to just keep it simple, please make sure you're subscribed, and I'll be right back. have no clue how I want to plan out this week. Um, let's look at the previous week here. Okay, so this is um, like really the current week. It's actually Saturday when I'm filming this. I normally film on Fridays, but um, we are going to turn the page. I typically don't really use my planner on the weekend. I might glance at my to-do list to see what else I still need to do. Um, but then I tend to just like write it on a scrap piece of paper or like a to-do list pad or something and then um, I don't know I never need the whole planner on the weekends so um, I have some things here um, I need to do all of these errands I didn't end up doing and um, I need to calibrate my Cricut and that is it. Um, you can see I put like a canceled sticker here. This is just like a planner Kate one that I had gotten off of the little freebie sampler sheets that come with your order. Um, oh, here's another thing. I started using these Cultivate What Matters like top three sticky notes to just kind of like help me make sure I'm getting things done. Um, I had this spot here to write things and um, I didn't use it for some reason this week. Last week I used it a lot, so I don't know. Um, I'm not really sure what, um, yeah, what that was about, but I guess sometimes your brain just needs to do something different. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to go into September because that's where we're working this week, and um, I'm going to be doing week 36 on this page here. Let's look at the monthly spread. I think since the monthly plan with me video, I did add some things here. I added the little crock pot sticker icons so that I would know which days I need to like put the food in the crock pot early in the day. And then um, I added the information about like my son's tests and stuff because um, I like to help him study and um, yeah, I typically need to know like the night before um, or the morning of like, are we studying? <laughs> and then um, I added this little PK icon. It's one of the black and white icons you can get um, to indicate that that's the day I wanna place a planner Kate order. So it's a little bit different, I think. Um, most people would probably use that to indicate when like the new releases are, which in September are on the 6th, but I always wait for um, the following Warehouse Wednesday sale to do my new release order. Um, and then that way I can combine the shipping if there's something I want to pick up for Warehouse Wednesday. So I just like to note that um, this week I'll be making an online purchase essentially. Um, Okay, so we are planning out week 36, which is this one here. This is, um, we have no school for Labor Day, and then we have a ton of like celebrating at the end of the week for um, my son's birthday mostly, but also my mine and my husband's anniversary. So um, I think we're just gonna do the basic, um, the basic layout, but probably not do the, like the daily to-do list column. I think we're just gonna do the basic layout this time. Um, yeah, okay, let's do it. So I need to get all of my stuff off of this page. And all of this is just stuff I wanted to remind myself of. And then we have that so let's get I'm gonna use this ruler actually let me take the sticky note off of there that's just like my shopping list um, and let's get I still haven't ordered the Sarasa Marcons that Lauren suggested um, I found them on jet pens but I just I don't know these are still working and I don't know, I'm just being 
weird about it. We just have a bunch of little random purchases this month and just one more like random $20 purchase from a pen store is just, I don't know. I get weird about stuff like that sometimes. <laughs> okay. Um, there's the line and then we'll do the basic quarter inch and then scoot over and do three inches and just make the dot. Quarter inch, three inches. All right. So um, this past week I've been working on my website. Um, I've had a blog for a really long time and um, just on and off throughout the years, like I have, I've gone back to it and updated it and blogged on it and then, um, then stopped and you know, and so I have a lot of like old stuff on there. I actually made everything like private um, all the old posts so I could kind of go through and see if there's anything I want to keep on there. Um, and I redesigned it all and I'm just, I don't know, I'm really feeling like I just want to write again and I think a blog would be a great place to do that obviously even if no one ends up reading it. Um, but also, I had some issues with Instagram recently where I couldn't post anything. I was able to post a story, but like I went to go post a reel and it told me that I was restricted because Instagram was trying to protect its community. Apparently, you know, you got to protect the community from a reel about my chore chart. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, but uh, anyway, I just was thinking, it got me thinking, like, I need to have my own place on the internet that like I own. That's not a social media site. Um, I've heard that for so long. I know that's like the best practice is to have your own thing in case you get hacked or shut down or something, or like the whole the whole social media site goes away or something, you lose your whole audience and then no one has any way to like find out anything about you. Like if my account got hacked on Instagram, I wouldn't have a way to tell anyone on Instagram, hey, I'm not here anymore <laughs> or the person you think you're talking to isn't me, right? So anyway, I was just like, if I could like have my blog actually, you know, be useful in that way and I should probably do that. Um, and so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, actually, I'm just going to write this. I am not gonna use the highlighter, I don't think. Um, I didn't plan any colors or anything. Um, let's actually, here, I'm sitting right next to my highlighters. Let's do the highlighter. And it's, it's September and I'm feeling purple, um, but I have all these different purples um, in my stash. So let's see, this is not really, what purple? These are all the same. These are all the same. I'm, I'm liking these ones. This is one of the ones that you can get in the um, new seasonal bundle. I think I'm gonna use this one from the In Bloom collection. So anyway, um, my blog is just kristenkramer.com. Um, there's nothing really great on there right now. I think I have, the only thing I have on there um, I had, whenever I, in April, whenever it was like the Erin Condren Life Planner launch, this is coming out more blue. <laughs> oh well, it's like a powder blue and not a purple, so I guess we're going with blue. Um, I, you know, I, I wrote a little blurb about it just to have a place for Google to find it in search. And um, so that's really all that's on there. And then there's just some really old stuff. Um, I used to blog about like capsule wardrobes and that kind of stuff. So there's some old stuff about that still on there that um, I think still fits with my whole like keep it simple um, message. But I'm really trying to like hone that, you know, and, and be a little more 
intentional about what my message is here. Um, that everything doesn't have to be like this gorgeous like art project. Of course using sticker kits um, can be like really beautiful and everything but sometimes for people like me and I'm sure there are more people out there like me um, sometimes that can just be overwhelming and then you overthink like the placement of the stickers uh, yeah every single time I try to do deco you know that I completely overthink where does it go oh it doesn't look right here and that's just kind of like defeats the purpose of you know trying to be like efficient in our planning so that we can actually do the things on the list and um, for me in this journey of planning I have learned that um, my planning is not my hobby which is weird because I'm making YouTube videos about it and so obviously that is kind of like my hobby but the actual act of decorating and like making my to-do list every week isn't really my hobby um, it's just my I need to do this so that I can get things done you know and so I'm trying to like separate that and of course it can still look nice and I can use a highlighter to make it pretty and stuff but that doesn't necessarily mean like this is my hobby I think more like the YouTube like I'm pointing at the camera I think more of like making the video about making my to-do list as the hobby and not the actual like act of planning I don't know if that even makes any sense I have a hard time articulating my thoughts sometimes but essentially what I'm trying to say is that um, I um, I don't need to make it so complicated like I don't need to have the exact perfect placement for all of my stickers and that kind of stuff. I just need to be able to um, get a list on my page um, and do the things on the list. And um, that's kind of what I am trying to, um, I guess the message I want to, to give is that sometimes we can kind of like overdo it and be like oh I have to make my to-do list pretty because that's part of being in the planning community and I just don't think that should be a thing like I just think you just need to make your list of things you need to do and check them off so that you can get them out of your head and like not have to think about them constantly because when they're on paper you're not going to forget them because you just look back at your paper and then go okay I'm going to do these things today and that's really the whole point of planning um, I know the community the awesome awesome planning community has turned it into a hobby and that's fine I'm not definitely not disparaging that I really like it and I think it's awesome and it has made it to where we can find ideas and, and help each other figure out a way that things can work better for each other. But like, oh, I'm gonna ramble. I didn't prepare like what I wanted to talk about. I just started talking and that always ends up with me rambling. But basically the planning community is awesome. But sometimes people like me, whose brain works the same way mine does, might stumble across the planning community and think oh my planner should look like that if um, I want to use it the right way and that's just not that's not true like it's not it and so I just want to be like a voice in the community that shows you the alternative that we can add some dashes of color and maybe some washi tape or sticker every now and then but like we're doing it this way <laughs> or I am I I am doing it this way I have a reason I'm using stickers and, and all that instead of just to to make it look a certain way like mine is very functional and um, you can still have function with deco and there's nothing wrong with deco this isn't a anti-deco like rant I'm just trying to like articulate that um, we can keep it simple and still get the things done you know that's all all right so week 36 we have no school on Monday um, so 
So I like using this week on one page format because um, I, let's see, Monday's crock pot. This is where it would have been handy to actually have the little side to-do list, but that's okay. Um, let's just draw a little square to use as like a checkbox to indicate this is a task I need to do. Um, so I like using the week on one page format because I don't need all of my um, week to take up two spaces and then have like these big long to-do lists on each day. Um, for me, it works better to not have like all of this writing all over the page and I can just put the most important things that need to happen that day right here and then I can just have a running to-do list here and that really helps me to not feel overwhelmed because for me when I feel overwhelmed like oh look at all of this stuff I have to do this week then I kind of shut down or I think all of this is going to take way too long there's no way I can get it all done and then I just kind of like give up on it before I even start but this way I can just kind of like if there's a bunch of stuff in this that means that's like the only time I have that day like I don't need to try to cram as much as possible into one full day um, let's put study here um, actually I'm gonna put the studying like in the to-do list with like the day I need to do it. Um, okay, so that'll go in the to-do list. This is our anniversary. Um, let's put like a little heart there and like a balloon on, on Saturday. So heart on Thursday for anniversary and a balloon on Saturday for my son's birthday. Um, we're going out to eat for dinner this night. Um, so the way this works for me is that there's four lines on here so and I can fit a little more like over here if I needed to but like my day I have kind of figured out like I can usually do like a chore type thing in the morning before my son goes to school or like right as he's going to school and then I have like two three hour time chunks during the day while he's at school that I can do anything else um, and then I have like the evening which is like after school dinner time that kind of stuff and so really those are like my four main things um, and so like if I wanted to load my day out I could just put something on each line and then I know I don't have realistically any more time to do anything so I don't need a, a to-do list that's like this long for the whole day every single day so it's just a way to help me be more realistic with what I can actually get done so that I'm not feeling like I'm not getting anything done because that also so like when I see a ton of stuff I think I'm never gonna get it done why even bother and then if I do try to get all that stuff done and there's like a bunch of things left unchecked I mean, that's just, that makes me feel bad. Like, I, I, I'm being lazy or something, and like, I didn't get anything done. Like, why didn't I get anything done? Well, I got things done. It's just that I expected too much from myself. And so it just messes with my head. And this way, I cannot have that, like, weird feeling that I didn't do enough. Um, this day. Oh, I forgot to finish here because I'm talking and writing at the same time. <laughs> um, on Friday, let's do, I'm just going to put lunch up at the top because I know we won't do anything before we go out for lunch, most likely. Um, okay, and then Saturday is my son's birthday party but they're also gonna do like haircuts and stuff that day oh, I forgot to write the crock pot things here I think there's another crock pot meal um, let's go with haircut and then um, let's just do um, party prep 
because I'm gonna need to do some things before the party. And then 5.30 to 7.30 LT party. And it's not a race week. Um, and then we're gonna go for lunch again <laughs> on this day. And I don't know, because of that, I'm not gonna order groceries on my normal schedule um, because I just don't really know exactly what times we're gonna be home this weekend and I'll just figure that out. And I might even just, I was gonna say, I might even just go to the grocery store, but why would I go to the grocery store when I'm already gonna be so busy? <laughs> um, I don't know, I might end up just ordering them at some point and just having them delivered Monday morning because that would be like, the easiest thing so okay um, and now I said I was gonna put like oh I don't have another crock pot thing I thought I did okay let's look at the menu because oh it's not a crock I was thinking this Brunswick stew casserole was a crock pot but it's actually a like a oven thing all right so let me get the rest of these types of things I need to we need to study for the science test um, and I'm going to put Monday because the test is on Tuesday and then there's another test on Friday which is the social studies test so we'll put study on Thursday I need to order groceries I need to resub Hub, which is the Twitch streamer and I have on there that I'm supposed to do that on Saturday but then in my Google Calendar it says do it on the 6th so I don't know so I'm going to look at that and then I'll write the day um, I think the Google Calendar is the one that's messed up and that's it for those things and um, I'm gonna need to wrap my son's presents um, We've been just kind of picking up little things for him here and there, and I haven't wrapped any of them, so he didn't want anything. Usually we'll do like one big, bigger gift, and he didn't really want anything this year, and so we just kind of, as we saw little things that we thought he would like, we got here and there, and so he'll just kind of have like a little, a little gift pile. Um, the Twitch thing, um, planner clips. Oh, I need to finish fixing those. So this, I, um, I made these out of laminated stickers from Planner Kate and, um, I glued them to just regular, um, paper clips with hot glue and then they all fell off. <laughs> but then I got this E6000 and I tried it on all of these and it works so much better. I think if you really wanted to, you can still rip it off of there, but it's not just going to fall off like it was with the hot glue. So I need to go fix all of the rest of them that I made for like the rest of the year. Um, I could probably do that this week. That's easy. Um, I wanted to like film that though so that I could like add that. I had filmed like a whole tutorial video about it. Um, but then when I realized it wasn't going to work, I was like, oh, well, I can't, I can't post this video because it's like, they're all going to fall apart if someone tries it. So I need to film the like fixing it part and add that to the video. Um, okay. So planner clips and the garden thing is not going to happen. Um, I think I'm done with the garden for this temperature set until like a few months, not a few months, until maybe like, maybe like the end of September, early October, I'll reevaluate. And like, we have like a weird, like a long growing season here. So I can like kind of do two fall gardens, like one with like the vegetables that the rest of the country does in the summer. And then I can do like cooler vegetables towards the end of the year. So, um, yeah, I got all the stuff here. He has a quiz. He has an algebra quiz on the 8th on the same day as the science test. So let's put that to just to make sure he's ready for that uh, math. And we'll put that here. Okay. And then, um, 
Tennis got paid. Disney Plus is a auto draft, so that will just come out. I want to change my Adobe account. Um, I'm just going to put Adobe Plan. I need Adobe Premiere Pro. I also need Adobe Illustrator. Right now I do like the all apps plan and I don't ever use any of the other apps. I was using Adobe Express, but they changed it and it has totally ruined my whole setup for making thumbnails and any other kinds of graphics. And so I'm going to move to Canva for that, and which means I don't really want to pay for Adobe Express anymore because it's pointless and useless and it's just, I hate it. <laughs> I'm so mad at it. Anyway, I think I can save like 15 bucks if I just get Premiere Pro and Illustrator and that would be good. 15 bucks is a lot. Um, doesn't seem like a lot, but whenever I'm complaining about having to spend 20 bucks on a jet pens order, <laughs> like 15 bucks is helpful. <laughs> okay. Um, I do need to water my plants. Um, I was looking at them this morning and I think they're ready. Um, week that I had that for week 38, but, um, they're just, it's been really hot. And in that room we get a lot of sun. So I think it just zapped all their moisture quicker. So we'll move that up to this week. Um, water, I almost wrote water pants, <laughs> water plants. And um, I'm gonna clean the coffee maker. I already cleaned the kettle um, and I'm adding too much stuff to this list. Maybe I need to cool it. Um, and the other thing I need to do this week is finish the favors and I need to run errands, which I gotta pick a day. Let's do that on, I just realized I, I haven't even finished like setting this up because Friday is the day I normally film so I actually need to change that and since I'm changing it, I need to write down the day I want to film. So I'm going to film on Thursday, but my husband will be in town. I'm going to film on Wednesday. Um, because I'm gonna need to like film, edit, upload. That's gonna be like a whole thing. Um, two videos from start to finish in one day. And so that's gonna take the whole day. And then he won't be home until Wednesday night. So I think Wednesday is better. And then we can go run errands together on Thursday. And I might even go, no, I won't be able to go on Monday because one of them is post office and post office will be closed on Monday. Okay. Um, what else can I add? Um, we can clean the car out on this day. Errands and car wash. And he's going to be home and I'm just going to, I'm not going to put all this stuff like he's got to do the filters and everything. I'm just going to put, um, I'm just going to check them off here. I'm not going to add them to my list. Um, I already have like a list going for him. I don't need to have it in like three spots, you know? And I think we're good. Um, yeah, I think we're good on the list. And then the only other thing was the cleaning, like the actual like zone cleaning. And so um, here I have that cleaning the kitchen is zone two, which is week 36. So. Um, I'm still kind of working with the fly lady thing. Um, I also am dabbling in clean mama just to see which one I like better. And I think I'm leaning towards clean mama, but I'm not 100%, but I'm just going to put clean kitchen, which just means deep clean. It, the kitchen gets clean every night, but like, you know, deep clean the kitchen. Okay. I think, I think we're good. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and call it here. <laughs> um, oh, big brother. Let me put, um, I'm actually, we hooked up our HD antenna. Um, it was like unplugged and everything in the attic. So that's hooked up now and I can actually watch big brother like on CBS on the TV now, instead of waiting to watch it on Paramount plus. And so I'm going to write, um, I'm just going to write big brother. Is it 25? Yes. Big brother 25. It says right here. All right. So I'm just cleaning up my sticky notes. Now I've got my list for errands. Um, uh, I didn't write post office on here, so I'm going to write it here. 
Okay, and then um, I'm gonna put this back on here. And I need to put this back on here. And um, let's clean this up. So anyway, I hope any of my rambles made sense earlier. Um, when are we doing? Hold on, when's the next haircut? Next haircut is on the 30th, which is week 39. All right, so anyway, I hope my rambles about functional planning versus decorative planning made sense. Uh, I definitely don't think you need to pick one or the other. It's just more of like my thought process on, on why I plan the way I do. But um, I'd love to hear any of your comments or like thoughts or feedback on that. Um, anyway, that is it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really liked it, please consider subscribing because if you liked this one, you'll probably like most of the other videos on my channel. And I would love to see you in the next one. Until then, embrace your imperfections and just be you. Bye.